right guys, MBG here today with a look at the newest releases for the end times. We have the Spirit Host and the new Morgas of, uh, of Nagash, I guess, so to speak. There's two different ones, the Harbingers and the uh, Akari, I guess they're called. Uh, but they're the same box set, so, you know, it's just a multi-part kit. So here's the Spirit Host. Uh, pretty cool kit. I mean, it's three miniatures. Uh, you get some really cool sculpted... Uh, basically weights for lack of a better term it's three sprues uh, which you know they're they're pretty well done honestly like they just uh, they just kind of go together and they they look fantastic and they've got all the sorts of these little detail bits that you can glue on and then there's the parts that are actually coming out of the skeleton itself which uh, provides you know basically how you base it or how you mount it to the base rather so that's cool to see and they're, they're pretty neat looking and they they're made to go on this, uh, the 40 millimeter square base so you know that you know you could kind of scale that up to using 40k for different things and i'm sure we'll see these guys port it over because there's fantastic 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 miniatures right there so that's that kit very simplistic you know it's just kind of like a three pack you could scatter you can buy them scatter them out on your terrain stuff like that or just you know use them as alternate models you know maybe use necron wraith so to speak mixing some some mechanical bits and things like that Here's the Morgas, and a lot of people are really excited for these to come out, and I, you know, I think they're really cool. Uh, I like the styling of them. I like the, that they have different weapon options. I actually thought they'd be a little bit bigger, and maybe maybe I'm overreacting because I haven't put one, I haven't put them together yet, but they seem a little small, and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So we got the new, and of course I didn't really address on this either with the spear host, but we got the new white box design, which is kind of you know the the opposite of the G Dub, uh, excuse me, of the 40k black box kind of look. So it's cool looking stuff, very neat. Uh, it's just you know uh, I, I don't know some some different, I guess, to tell the two lines apart instead of everything kind of being styled the same way. So this is going to come with three screws. Uh, and then, of course, you get the, uh, I want to say that's a large, what do they call that now? Large cavalry base, I want to say. I think we first saw these with the ogres, the ogre morphine cavalry. I'm not really sure. It all kind of blurs together after a while, but that, that one makes sense to me. So the first sprue here is the weapons, uh, which, you know, you got the, got the blades and then you got the shafts uh, for the actual, um, uh, the, the, shoot, I forgot what they're called. Well, basically the the halberds, for lack of a better term, forgot the actual actual name of them in game. But let's take a look at that. So you got the finished assembly. What do they call them? Oh, they don't call them. In this. Oh well. So anyways, so these are the blades right here that go on the end, and you got the second half of the hand right there. So very very poseable. I mean, you can kind of port them over to a bunch of different different things depending on how you want to do it like I said a lot of people were saying they'd make demon princes out of them or you know in the 40k line or I suppose these with a little bit of converting maybe some axe shafts would make a great uh, uh, scar brand because he had his wings all ripped up by corn when he tried to challenge him so that would be kind of a neat conversion to see maybe we'll see a few of those here in the near future uh, so here's the first sprue, which is going to kind of have the tattered uh, tattered wings that are supported to the base by these uh, random, you know, spirit, spirit host guys, um, the lost souls of the gods that they were actually, uh, I forget which war, one of the Egyptian, or not Egyptian, but you know what I mean, for uh, Nagast, or they were, they were actually sent to kill him the first time, I think, and these were the guys that were, that were doing, that were sent to kill him, but then, you know, Nagash killed them all and resurrected them, so now they're kind of like, basically like, evil forms of those, but I forget the god it was, um, but I guess they kind of draw the undead to them, and that's where, that's why we have the Spiros. In real terms, it's just so they can mount the wings to the base, I guess, uh, but they look great, you know, it's, uh, they're very dynamically posed, and you hardly see that they're actually mounted to the base by that, and I'm sure if you paint them up and you make them all, like, colorful, as opposed to the models themselves, they might take away from that somewhat. So, you know, keep that in mind as you're working on the, uh, as you're working on these models. You don't want to draw a lot of attention to that particular uh, set of details there. So then you've got the, the open rib cages. Depending on which version, you know, you would take the the armored plate on the front if you're uh, using them as the archive, or if you're taking them as the harbingers, they're a little bit more 
uh, open faced, I guess, so to speak. They don't have as many uh, armor options there. And then you've got the different cowls uh, that go around the heads, as well as some of the stuff on the back, like there's the head cowls and some of the bony parts that go on the back. Now these spurs are actually pretty similar uh, between the two. Let's flip it like that. Yeah, let's just go right there. Okay, yeah, so these uh, spurs are actually pretty similar. I mean, you've got the shoulder pads and things like that and the more uh, just pieces of the actual models themselves. And as you can kind of tell, they, they do, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but they do seem like they are a little small compared to that base. So I thought they would be about Demon Prince size, but I would definitely be be careful uh, if you're buying it for something like that that you see one put together first and uh, size it up uh, so that you're using it for the you know whatever it is you really want it uh, to be if you're not fielding them in the army of the end times themselves so that's uh, that's pretty much a buyer beware right there but they're incredibly detailed really cool kit I mean obviously we're gonna see a lot of conversions with these guys I can only think of the stuff that you could do for chaos both uh, in the game of fantasy and also in 40k uh, which will be you know super exciting that's really what got me into uh, a lot of the hobby and you know why I started spiky bits in the first place and why we did bits and you know we can't do bits now but yeah, I, can, I, still, I can still get excited about stuff like this right <laughs> so that's about it for the uh, new releases for this week the uh, more gas kit and the spirit host next week is space Space Hulk, and there's a limited number of those uh, going around, so we'll definitely take a look at that and just in case you hadn't seen it yet. Uh, and it's got some new pieces in it too, so definitely check us uh, check back next week for that. So like I said, that's it for this one. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel, check out the blog, spikybitsblog.com, and listen to our podcast, forgenarrative.com.